Hey, good morning everyone. This is Michael from the Reptile Zoo. We're going to bring you another special video and today's topic, cold-blooded. So we hear it all the time. What exactly does it mean? Is their blood literally cold? Well, not quite. Another fancy way to say cold-blooded is exothermic. It basically means they get all of their body heat from external or outside sources. So unlike us, where we warm ourselves up internally, they have to get it from something else. So for example, reptiles like our two beautiful bearded dragons here, or this wonderful and gorgeous radiated tortoise next to me, these guys all have to get their body temperature up by basking out in the sun. And of course, we see that all the time. That's why they do it, is to raise their body temperature. But why do they really need to do it? I mean, how important can body temperature be? Well, for one thing, uh, of the right uh, what we call homeostasis, is crucial to any living thing. They have to keep their internal body at a reasonable temperature at just the right level, this little what we call a Goldilocks zone, if you will. Not too hot, not too cold, just right. And if they don't do that, well, that can be pretty dangerous and fatal for many animals, and pretty much all of them, actually. But with reptiles, it's a little bit more tricky because they don't just do it for themselves. It's pretty much for other things, too. There's even reptiles out there whose gender is determined by their temperature before they even hatch. Uh, but one of the most crucial things about keeping their body temperature up as well is digestion. Now us, obviously, we don't have a problem. We eat something, it gets digested. But for them, it's not so simple. Reptiles have to keep their body temperature pretty high in order to digest. The higher their body temperature, the more powerful their enzymes are in breaking things down. That's why many animals like snakes, for example, can swallow the skeleton of an animal they've eaten and it gets dissolved into basically white mush. But if we make them really cold, well then that food's not going to digest in their belly. It basically just sits there and rots and that's not going to do anyone any good. That reptile is going to develop some horrible rot gut and that can end up being fatal. So high body temperature is pretty important and it doesn't matter if it's uh, animal that eats other animals like red meat, if it's something that eats a variety of insects, or even if it's a plant eater. Everything all in the reptile world has to keep its body temperature within a certain level and typically they're going to be considered pretty high temperatures. So that's kind of the basis on what it means to be cold-blooded. And uh, we'll see you again for another video. So be sure to stay tuned, keep an eye on our pages, and let's see what we've got coming up next time. Take care, guys.